thrifting here in Italy in the towns on the outskirts of Milan can be so satisfying. Who do? Today we're hunting for vintage treasures in two shops, one in Vigevano and one in Abbiata Grasso. And wow, there are some great unexpected finds here. Like if you collect marionettes, did you see that? You can find them sometimes. And this Fendi jacket for anything under a hundred euros. Are you joking? That is a complete bargain. There were some really good fashion finds here, fashion brands that you don't see. If you're a pipe collector, what a random thing to find, but look at this nice collection. If you're a pipe collector, let me know. Look at these. There's so many different shapes. They're really interesting. And you all know that I love to look at all the lamps, obviously, all the time. This little Tiffany one is so cute. Not exactly something I need, but you know, also I'm seeing pairs of lamps. You don't always see pairs of lamps. And if you need them, you need them. So two for less than 35, not bad. That was very cute. The linens in both the shops in this video, very good selection. This first shop, especially the sheets and tablecloths, really good. Look at the details. All this cut work and stitching for less than 30 euros. Even if you don't use it or need it as a, um, as a sheet, as a sheet set, use it as fabric. Look how beautiful the, the workmanship is. This one, I can't even, I almost bought this just for the embroidery, but I thought, I don't need it. Control yourself. <laughs> it's difficult, but so beautiful. Look at that. That's amazing. Oh, so good. Hand towels, jacquard with the pattern woven into the fabric. Always good quality. Fashion, look at so many puffer jackets. If you're in Italy in a thrift shop, you're gonna see puffer jackets <laughs> or piumini, um, as they're sometimes called. This Max & Co, that's a division of Max Mara for less than 100 euros, complete bargain. That is a good winter coat. So many good jeans brands here. And normally you don't always see these because Italians love fashion. They know and love their brands. So good brands go quickly because everyone knows what they are. So to see these here, I'm like, wow, we found something unusual and good hidden gem. Oh yes, please give a like if you like this video so other people can also enjoy it. Sportmax brand there. Also a division of Max Mara. So good. And just wait. Look at this Chloe. You don't see Chloe. That's a designer designer brand for 28 euro jeans. <laughs> I've never, I've never seen that before. They have so many good things here. Lots of accessories behind the glass. But really, Everything was so unexpected. Look at this cool belt. So cool to wear over a loose top. So adorable. Wallets, bags, these lamps, not exactly cheap, but look at the detail on the bottom of these. Incredible. They look like little cathedrals. I never expected to see this. It looks like it should be in a carnival, this scale. It's amazing. <laughs> I love that. And beautiful table. Look at this farmhouse table for 167. When do you ever see that? All, all of the natural age marks on it. Oh, lovely. Wall coat rack with caning, if you're into caning or cane details, I should say. There's a mirror hidden behind there for 55 euros. So sweet. And this, come on. All of those details, it was just hiding against the back wall. Hi everyone, I'm Tammy. Thank you so, so much for shopping with me today. Look at this, you could totally put this in a kitchen, refinish it a little bit. The glass texture isn't my favorite, but Maybe it's yours. Marble work surface there. Come on, that is a solid kitchen piece. 
There was really good furniture in both of the shops in this video and definitely worth checking out. The only drawback would be how do you get it back to wherever you need to because we asked and they do not deliver to Milan. So we would have to figure out how to get things back. Oh, these pedestals, such a good bargain if you need a pedestal like this. They're perfect, just take them and go. Great little curved bedside table. Yes, a comodino is a nightstand or a bedside table. So if you see that marking on a piece of furniture on a little table, that's what it means. I've never seen a clock like that with built-in wine storage, but why not? This was a bargain, 40, less than 46 for both nightstands. This Pepsi cooler I thought was a little high, but I don't know the value of those personally. chair was less than 35 euros come on even if you have to have it refinished what's it gonna cost not a lot these come on. when would you expect to see these they're so great and this I've never seen anything like that look at that just for it's just for display with glass on three sides never it, it almost looks like a lighthouse lots of chair selection this was very sweet a rocking bassinet needs refinishing but for 50 euros it it's wonderful very subtle detailing bar stools very nice feel like cane bar stools and this bamboo bamboo end table look at such a variety of everything and this chair we go from bamboo to this <laughs> and the lamp next to it there's so much variety there's something literally for everyone here even eight tracks <laughs> i don't know who could play eight tracks at this point but you never know this is a great scale it's so industrial As always lots of pottery lots of ceramics that little thing was a centerpiece I found out. Nice industrial phones. Oh. Cute clock. Teeny tiny. I'm seeing a lot of alarm clocks lately, little ones. <gasps> this pink phone. Who's calling? 50s, 60s are calling. They want their phone back, but I like it too. <laughs> Dessert silverware. This whole set, it said dessert silverware. I'm not a figurine collector myself, but if you are and you know anything about these, let me know. I'm curious about these. They have similar markings on the bottom, but very different glazes on them. So I don't know if they're true, if they're fakes. I have no idea. This is something. Have you ever seen anything like this before? I have not. 
I don't think they're electric. This had very elegant lines on it, this pewter centerpiece. Hmm. Very sweet little tea set, lots of gold. This, very unfortunate. I loved the design, but it was plastic, not ceramic. They did have beautiful glasses, several different wonderful choices. The detail on these, the etching, amazing. For 11, 11 45 for 10 pieces. Come on. These, this texture is amazing. They were cheaper than this. Everything was on sale. This, I believe, is a bottle topper for like your wine bottles. This color, this green color, reminds me so much of the 70s the avocado appliance color. Again, alarm clocks. This phone, this phone is incredible. Yes, it's very common here to keep an open or loosely covered container for your salt. So you can just grab a, a big pinch and throw it in your pasta water. That's why you see a lot more salt than pepper. keys. I love keys. Anyone else have a key collection? I do. Old vintage keys, but I think I have enough. And yet more fashion, more vintage clothing. So much. Now we're in the second shop. And yet more. Great chandeliers, unfortunately all unpriced, and only one person working their way in the front of the shop at the register. That's frustrating. Great mirror. For 25, it was huge. Needed some work though, needed restoration. This, I came very close to buying this for the bathroom, but how to get it? <laughs> Oh, very close though. Look at that. 70 euros with a marble top. Amazing. Ama they had great prices. This was comparatively more expensive, in my opinion, than the other pieces. But it was in very good shape. Old sewing machines. And a 45. Where can you find that? Oh, and this hand painted cabinet for 60 euros. And it's a desk on the bottom. It's a desk with storage on top. I 
Again, 50 euros for that? Are you joking? details. Look at that. It's amazing. Way too big for my apartment, but in the right home, it would be fantastic. This piece was giant. The figurines on it and everything and a mirror on the front. It was like a perfect Narnia cabinet. For 180. Hello, Narnia. Incredible. Lots of great napkins and dish towels at the second shop so sweet look at that i didn't check the prices of any of them but they were not expensive they were just so adorable little hankies so cute even the bottom one here has turnips <laughs> i think they're turnips or maybe radishes <laughs> these tablecloths are very fun. I was very tempted. I think that one said seven euros, the top one, for a tablecloth. So good. That's incredible. Books. They had books. I was so enthralled by the furniture, I didn't even really look at them. Great jug. The shape is amazing. It almost looks like a shoe. These guys, why did I not buy them? Really good model cars here. I think quite a few of them said 15 and 20. Hello, chicken. He's a good chicken pitcher. Well, I didn't see his price. Oh, well. It was cute though. These pots were really cool. A little overpriced in my opinion. That one's at 45. Clocks. They had they had some really cute clocks as well. More alarm clocks. mirror to finish it off. What a great thrifting day. Those shops in Vigevano and in Abieta Grasso are so good. <laughs> They're so close and we never knew they were there. But we found something, so it's time for a little thrift haul. We found a set of glasses that we weren't even looking for, but they're so cute. 
they go with everything. Look at the amazing texture. And there are 16 pieces. I think there were there are six of the size and six of the little size and four of the medium size. So we got all of that for only seven euros. It's nothing. Look at that. They're so adorable. They completely do go with everything. We bought one more thing that I can't show you because it's a gift. Mm -mm. Sorry. <laughs> nope. But if you like this video and you want to see more like it, check out our playlist right here. We've got plenty and we'll see you next time.